Yeah, good afternoon, uh, Avi. My name is uh, Stephen Conroy, as you, you know me well for a number of years. And your formal name, Abraham Weisfeld of Montreal, where we are right now in the Plateau area. And uh, just to let everybody else know, you have a background as an academic and you've completed a doctoral thesis on the uh, a Jewish critique of Zionism, which is what we'll speak on today. Yes. Um, I've already mentioned uh, the difference between uh, the ideology of Zionism and what the Jewish political culture is, or what Jewishness is. I've explained that primary point, which is a starting point. Now I'd like to discuss what uh, the Jewish organized opposition to Zionism is. I'm wearing a t-shirt actually that comes from the conference in 2001 in Chicago when the first North American Jewish opposition came together to meet for the first time and to uh, discuss how we would organize uh, the movement. So this is the uh, conference you know that we began to organize from. Since then I founded uh, with uh, Michael Benazon the Canadian uh, Jewish opposition movement which is called the Alliance of Concerned Jewish Canadians and over two year part two year period of time we organized uh, some 200 members and a number of various groups which are affili affiliated with the ACJC and uh, it uh, sponsored a successful conference in Toronto this uh, spring in which 140 delegates came from various uh, other groups as well uh, to uh, discuss you know what was necessary for the Jewish opposition movement to organize and to say on behalf of the Jewish community. And uh, because we rejected the proposition that the Zionist parties were speaking uh, with any justification on behalf of the entire Jewish community, because we know that a majority of the Jewish people are opposed to the occupation of the Palestinian territories in 1967, and we wanted to give voice to this Jewish opposition because we uh, felt that we were upholding the reputation of the Jewish people, we were upholding international law on this issue, and we were upholding the, uh, the right of Jewish people to speak about this issue just as anybody else has a right to speak about this issue.